Hey, what's all this? Well, you were sleeping in, so I thought, why don't I make breakfast for a change? You know, why should Simon always do the cooking? <laughs> now we know. <laughs> oh, come on, don't feel bad. So you can't cook. I can't get applause in restaurants for reducing surly waiters into quivering piles of goo. <laughs> we all have our talents. Oh, it's not that. It's Liz's wedding. Philip, we all agreed that a joint ceremony in a neutral location was the only fair way to go. I don't care. Why can't it be our priest, our church? It will be our priest. He'll just be with Liz's minister. But that could mess it all up. God's up there smiling down on our guy. Then he sees the other guy, and suddenly there's a penalty for too many men on the field. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, Liz's minister isn't a guy. Her name's Judy. The minister's a sister? <laughs> Ooh, this wedding's finally starting to get interesting. Interesting? It's gonna look like Father Joseph brought a freaking date. <laughs> I know. Hey, be nice. Someday you're gonna want my support when you get married. Or more likely have to get married. <laughs> Audrey, wait till you hear this. Liz's minister's name is Judy. <laughs> Who would name a boy Judy? <laughs> It's not a guy, Ma. It's a woman. What will the Protestants think of next? You're cool with that, right, Ma? Well, it's not exactly the way I always pictured it. Nothing about this wedding is going to be the way we always pictured it. Mm -hmm. Except us. We'll look spectacular. <laughs> but we still have one hope. Their priest said he had to meet Liz before he'd agree. Maybe he won't like her. Of course I'll like her. Why would anybody not like Liz? She's too perky. <laughs> and a chatterbox. She makes up all those big words. Hey, it was a rhetorical question. Now she's got you doing it. <laughs> it's just it wouldn't be a wedding at all without Father Joseph. Yeah, so she better not mess up. She's not gonna mess up, all right? You know Liz. She's always totally together. I am so losing it. Well, you haven't slept in days. I don't have I got a cram for finals. I got a killer paper due, and the draft of that wedding invitation that I need you and the O'Neills to sign off on has suddenly disappeared off the face of the freaking earth. Would it be this frosty little number? Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. that explains the little cookie dough I found in my purse. Which reminds me, I've already had breakfast. Sweetheart, would it help if Simon and I took care of the invitation for you? Help? It would save my life. <laughs> The printer already has the guest list. After the O'Neill's okay, you just have to drop it to be copied and mailed. All right, you got it. Oh, thank you. Whoa, it's a rainbow coalition of post-its. Yeah, that is the only thing holding my life together. Pink is for my study time, green is for my wedding duties, and yellow is for writing my paper. If I don't eat, sleep, or have sex, I can just fit everything in. Huh, is purple the color of a nervous breakdown? Oh, my God. That's my meeting with Bobby and his priest on Wednesday. I forgot to factor that in. Okay. Okay, this is not a problem. I just want brush my teeth, shave my legs, or shower every day. She's got it all wrong. You're not supposed to let yourself go until after you get married. Oh, cookie dough? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, stop it. I'm bored. Uh-oh. Last time she said that, she tried to get the cat to mate with a rabbit. <laughs> Cabots would be like the perfect pet. I wonder what a cabot would taste like. I could never eat anything with a fluffy tail. Speaking of fluffy tails, what are you guys doing here? Ah, oh, we came by to help out Liz. She needs you to approve this draft of the wedding invitation. And could you please make it quick? I'm late for a tooth whitening. I'm one shade away from the Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> The engravers have our guest list. We just need to drop this off, and uh, they'll mail them out. Philip Stoddard and Simon Banks joined together with Audrey and Mason O'Neill, requesting the honor of your presence, etc., etc., etc. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. yeah, except, you know, for the first few words uh, right at the beginning. You mean our names? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, why do you need them both? Because we're both her fathers. Yeah, but I wonder if you could be just a little less... Who we are? <laughs> exactly. Thanks for understanding. Wait, I I'm confused. I thought you weren't going to try to hide the fact that they were gay anymore. 
We are not. It's just that it would come as less of a shock to our friends if we could tell them in person instead of it just being out there in writing. <laughs> <laughs> but we are out, and we're not going to pretend otherwise. Tell you what, just add an E to Simon, and it's all good. <laughs> you want me to call myself Simone? <laughs> would you also like me to wear a Mother of the Bride's dress to the wedding? <laughs> I'm just glad you haven't already picked one out. Mace, asking me to add an E to Simon is like me asking you to take the O off O'Neill. No, see, it's not the same at all. Being Irish is something to be proud of. So is being gay. I mean, to be proud of in public. What if we compromised and said the started banks and O'Neill families invite you? It's always one step forward and two river dances back with you people. <laughs> You know, I really don't have time to argue about this now. Come on, Simone. <laughs> Finish your first one, then we'll talk. <laughs> Martini? Oh, thank you. You know, these always remind me of growing up. The Hangy scent of gin, the tinkle of the swizzle stick. You know, if I got myself ready for school with no help, Mother even let me lick the shaker. Huh. That would almost be whimsical if she wasn't also driving the school bus. Mm -hmm. you know, if you want to be indignant, suggest you direct your attention to the O'Neills. We promised Liz we'd get this invitation to the engravers, and I am not gaying it down. Agreed. However, we could... gay it up. What? We could make it so homo-fabulous that Mace would be begging us to go back to the original. Oh, no, no. I am not going to reinforce some ridiculous stereotype just to get my way. Gay, straight, we are all the same. Oh, yay! My goat cheese toast points are done. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Do I look all right? Well, that depends. Did you want to wear ink all over your face? Ah! Oh, come here, come here. Oh, I fell asleep writing a paper on dialectical materialism. How could this happen? Hmm. How could it not? Oh. What's going on? Well, I'm having a meltdown. My paper's not done. The hours are disappearing, and I was supposed to be Bobby at Father Joseph's like five minutes ago. Oh, food, I'm starving. No! Okay, ice. Honey, you can't go out like that. Oh, Lizzie, oh, you're okay. Right. Oh. Okay, that is not a girl who can handle bad news on the invitation front. We've got to get Mace to change his mind. Do you honestly think if we gay up the invitations, Mace will back town? Are you kidding me? We'll write an invitation so queer it'll scare the living gay lights out of him. <laughs> Tardiness in the whole list of sins. In my book or in his? Look, Liz is never late. I, I, I'm sure she must be hurt or dead or something. Well, keep a good thought. Huh? Does she understand that I've never done a joint ceremony before? She understands. Does she also understand that I'm only doing this because I'm so close with your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we really appreciate it, Father. And, and I know I've been kind of lazy about coming to Mass, but I, I promise from now on I'm going to be in that front pew every week. Bobby, don't let your mouth make promises your butt's not going to keep. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Yes, of course. I'll be right down. Sorry, I have to go down to the hospital and administer last rites. Uh, right now? Can't it wait just a couple minutes? It's last rites. <laughs> Well, uh, is it old lady Jensen? Because she's been having that same heart attack the last ten years. I'm afraid your Liz is going to have to reschedule. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm late. God, are you all right? She smells like she's more than all right. No, stop, please. Where are they going? To give last rites. You were late. And you reek. Have you been drinking? No. 
What's that smell? Martinis. Why are you talking like that? It's a long story. Oh, Bobby, I am so sorry. I really wanted to make a good first impression, but now he hates me. Oh, Father Joseph. Father Joseph? Oh, I am so glad you decided to come back. Have sex? Oh, it's about time. How'd you meet my Father Joseph go? Oh, how'd it go, huh? You know, these things, they go. It went. He wants to see her again. Why? Well, he had to leave early. They didn't really get a chance to bond. Oh, uh, Pop, Simon and Philip wanted me to drop off this revised invitation for you to okay. Did they change it? Well, revised means change, so I guess so. Didn't you read it? Hey, all I wanted was to have Pedro Martinez sign autographs at the reception, but you all said I was crazy, so I'm out of the planning. Did they fix it? Oh, they fixed it, all right. Flame and Philip started, and his man love a light partner. <laughs> Sissy Simon Banks. <laughs> lip wristedly request the fabulousness of your presence at the To Die For event of the year? Meow. <laughs> it seems like they made it... more gay. <laughs> Nothing gets by you, Audrey. <laughs> they gotta bust my onions just cause I asked them to change one little thing. Maybe we should just go back to what they had before. Fine! Wow, Dad, they totally punked you. What do you mean? They knew if they did this that you would agree to send out the original. They did? Of course. Come on, you're not gonna let them get the last word, are you? Hell no. In fact, your mother and I are gonna sit right down and make a few changes of our own. Do you think they misunderstood and thought we said, make it more gay? <laughs> Audrey, in my entire life, have you ever heard me say the sentence, make it more gay? Double toe, quadruple shot, latte. Ooh, looks like you need it. I also need a month of sleep, a shot of B12, and a deodorant that keeps its promise. <laughs> Professor Beyer, over here. Oh, 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 it's hot. Well, it is coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I have to make this quick. I have to, the Chancellor's luncheon this afternoon. Oh, well, um, I really appreciate you meeting me here instead of your office. See, um, I have to meet with the priest of that church around the corner, okay? Um, I know you said papers due Friday, no extensions, but I really need the weekend to finish, and really, <laughs> you're not gonna get to mine by Monday, so can't you just pretend you slipped it at the bottom of the pile on Friday? Can't you do that? No. Oh, but you've just got to... Ah! I'm, I'm sorry. It isn't hot. It's coffee. <laughs> Professor Beyer. This, this is the men's room. Well, I know, but I just feel so... No, this place is disgusting. What goes on in here? Would you please go? I can't go okay. till you give me that extension. Okay, okay, I'm... okay, okay. You can have the extension. Oh, Professor Beyer, I love you. Excuse me. Robert Patrick, the son of Audrey and Mason O'Neill, a normal, healthy American couple, <laughs> under God, indivisible, who aren't going to hell for their deviant gay lifestyle. That is cold. Uh, they took our humorous way of pointing out what close-minded bigots they are and turned it into a name-calling contest. How dare they say we're going to hell? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm going there too. In what world are the O'Neills cattier than we are? Well, if they are going to start a war of words, I'm going to make them sorry they ever mess with a gay English major. It's good for you. I told them that you guys wouldn't stand for this and that you would come back with something really devastating, for which I'm happy to wait. Well, just wait until I'm done with this. Simon, hold on a second. You know, technically, they did not start the war of words. We did. And we could be the ones to end it. What? <laughs> Why? <sighs> yeah, well, perhaps we did say a few things we wouldn't have had Martinis not been involved. Mm -hmm. You would never have auditioned for Starlight Express had Martinis not been involved. <laughs> well, now as then, sobriety brings wisdom. Mm. Wow. I'm impressed. 
Oh, thank you. Not with you. I'm impressed with my dad. He said you would wuss out. <laughs> Give me that thing. First of all, we will, uh... Oh, thank you. <laughs> we will change a normal, healthy American couple to... crazy, right-wing homophobes. No. You've called them that before. You, you need to think more outside the box. How about something like... hetero supremacist? You just came up with that off the top of your head? Three things I know how to make fun of. My parents, nuns, and mall security. Please, please, Father, believe me. It's not what you think. I was just trying to get a favor from my professor. Well, I'm sure you got it. Uh, it was totally innocent. These things could happen to anybody. But they seem to keep happening to you. But you're a priest. Shouldn't you be forgiving me? You'd think. Uh, I am a good girl, <laughs> really. I mean, Bobby and I didn't even sleep together until the future. I know, I found the post-it. <laughs> Look, Liz, I can't in good conscience marry you and Bobby. I just feel that you're not the right girl for him. Oh, but I am. Father, whatever else has happened, whatever I've done, nothing will ever be as important to me as Bobby's happiness. You really love him, don't you? Yes. You'll get over it. <laughs> oh, Father, please, please, you have to do but this. I'm, I, I, please, I'm... Oh. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Just, just leave. No, I can fix this. I took lanyard making a camp. Father Joseph, do you have? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh no, it's not what you think. Really, it's not. You see how these things can happen? What the hell's a hetero supremacist? I knew that would get you. I mean, I warned them that that would make you mad. Just keep reading. Flamin' Philip started blah, 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 and the hetero supremacist O'Neill Lynch Mob invite you to celebrate their closed-minded puritanical attitudes at the slurp and burp wedding of their daughter. <laughs> White Hood's optional. Okay, that's it. The gloves are off! Audrey, get the dictionary! <laughs> right. Go buy a dictionary! No, Mace, this silly escalating war word stops now. Yeah, I guess. No! Come on, our family's pride's at stake. No, Maddie. Your mother's right. It's time somebody took the high road, and that's gotta be us. I'll just put a note on this, tell them to go back to the original. I really think it's for the best. Me too, sweetheart. I cannot believe you're just gonna roll over like a dead cabot. <laughs> does that sound like something your father would do? No, Daddy, it does not. <laughs> hey! How'd it go with Father Joseph? He's going to marry us. Oh, God, what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> So what'd you do? Get down on your knees and beg? <laughs> knees were involved. <laughs> hey, is that our invitation? Oh, yeah, my mom wanted me to bring that back to your dad's. Oh, no, they already okayed it. Let's just drop it at the printer on the way home so I have one less thing to worry about. Hey, Pop, I'm going on a break. Wow. Father Joseph said he'd marry us and our parents actually agreed on something. Our marriage is off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? What are you talking about? My friends just got our wedding invitation. But they went out? Bobby, look at this. Bleeding heart liberal Simon Banks and Philip Stoddard. A taken time out from destroying the moral fabric of our nation to join with the hetero supremacist O'Neill Lynch mob. I invite you to celebrate their close-minded puritanical attitudes at the slurp and burp wedding of their son Robert Patrick. White hoods, feather boas, and buttless chaps. Optional? <sighs> My work here is done. <laughs> <laughs>